Okay, Coach Walls. Is there anything true about this man? He's a walking, talking fabrication. He was not a coach. Apparently, he was a volunteer assistant coach for the linemen or the defense or something like that. They built him up as the coach who took them to the, to the highest level in the state of Minnesota or was it Nebraska? I don't know and I don't care. The guy was not the coach. He didn't bring them to the championship victory. A real coach did. And now she calls him coach and he's got Midwestern values. Suddenly they like white men in Midwestern values. What the hell happened? Oh yes, yes, white man with Midwestern values. He doesn't have Midwestern values. He's a radical left-wing kook. So here's PBS NewsHour uh, highlights from the 2024 DNC convention night two. Let's take a little peek, shall we? Go. I am thrilled to reaffirm Kamala Harris as the Democratic nominee for President of the United States. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, we are here tonight to officially nominate Kamala Harris for She's president. been officially nominated. So this is all a ruse. This is all for show. Go ahead. She's so cool. They're all so cool. Go ahead. Turn it up Good evening, Milwaukee. Really? Boy, Gavolt. And hello. By the way, can I ask a question? What is it with these Democrat women nominees for Brett? Why do they all wear pantsuit? I'm not opposed to pantsuit per se. But can't you wear a dress every now and then? Just the guys wear the dresses in there? Well, what's the problem? I'm just, I'm just asking a question. Anyway, go ahead. Everyone joining us from excitement. Oh, who's that guy on the stage there? This guy, Tim Waltz. You put a raincoat on this guy, five-day growth, give him a cigarette, put him out on the corner. He's the kind of guy you say to your daughter, stay away from that guy. Am I, not, am I right? He's hopping around like he's, like he's high on the, hey, 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 he's bouncing around on the stage. Settle down, pal, settle down. Go ahead. The delegates at the Democratic National Convention, well, they just completed their roll call. <laughs> and they have nominated Coach Walls and me to okay, be the Okay, Coach Walls. Is there anything true about this man? He's a walking, talking fabrication. He was not a coach. Apparently, he was a volunteer assistant coach for the linemen or the defense or something like that. They built him up as the coach who took them to the, to the highest level in the state of Minnesota or was it Nebraska? I don't know and I don't care. The guy was not the coach. He didn't bring them to the championship victory. A real coach did. And now she calls him coach. And he's got Midwestern values. Like what? like transgendering little kids, like tampons. And, suddenly they like white men in Midwestern values. What the hell happened? Oh yes, yes, white man with Midwestern values. He doesn't have Midwestern values. He's a radical left-wing kook. He's tight with the communist Chinese. He's tight with the imams who talk about the extermination of the Jews in Israel. Are those Midwestern values? Would Kamala Harris actually pick a white guy with Midwestern values? Are we nuts? No, they are. But the coach, oh, coach, can you imagine living these lies, whether it's DUI, whether it's how your kids were born, whether it is your military record, whether it's your coaching record, whether it is you're kissing the ass of the communist Chinese. Who goes somewhere 30 times, 30 times to communist China? I haven't been anywhere 30 times. I don't think I've been to a restaurant 30 times. Well, that's not true. If they have a good hot dog, I'll go. Anyway, go. President and President of the United States of America. I love this, too, all the time. Oh, I heart you. Go ahead. My girl, Kamala Harris, is more than ready for this moment. She is one of the most qualified people ever to seek the office. How so? One of the most qualified people to ever seek the office of the presidency. 
but she didn't put herself up for a vote to the American people. The convention is closed, no competition, no challenges. She's the most qualified, but they don't run on her record. What is her record as vice president? But she's the most qualified. Wait a minute. I thought it was her turn, given her race and her sex. No, she's the most qualified to ever run for president. Wow. Tell me, what jobs has she ever created? None. What has she ever invented? Nothing. She ever run a business? No. Oh, she ever been in the military? No. Now, I'm not saying you have to be all these things or any of these things, but you have to be something. Oh, she's got a great record as DE and Attorney General, DA and Attorney General. No, she doesn't. She doesn't have a great record. She has a lousy record. What about a senator? Lousy. What about her record? Nationalizing everything that moves? government control. Oh, she's the most qualified. And what about Michelle Obama and Barack Obama? How much longer do we have to put up with this charade? Or as they say in, you know, in certain circles, charade. How much longer do we have to put up with this? What do you mean, Mark? Michelle Obama is a multimillionaire. Barack Obama is a multimillionaire. How did they get rich? Off of their government positions. And they act like they're they're up for the revolution, or is it down for the revolution? Anyway, they act like they're these great revolutionaries who want fundamental transformation as they make millions and millions and millions of dollars from corporations, from Hollywood, you name it. They've got four or five mansions speckled all over the country. They're probably worth 150 to $200 million. And we've got to hear this stuff like they're, they're up for the battle and down for the fight. Seriously? Go ahead. For years, Donald Trump did everything in his power to try to make people fear us. Fear who? She mean women, black people, Americans? What does she mean? Fear us. Fear us? Tell me something, Michelle Obama. What have you ever done for the black community? Seriously. Even more, what has your husband, Barack Obama, what has he ever done for the black community as president of the United States? I can't think of a damn thing. And yet I can think of what Donald Trump has done with these enterprise zones, 8,000 of them across the country. Criminal justice reform, I didn't even agree with much of that, but he went forward with it. And it was aimed at particularly helping prisoners and families who were minorities and particularly at supporting them in that regard. School choice, so children have an opportunity to get educated, especially in poor neighborhoods and especially in poor minority neighborhoods. She opposed it, her husband opposed it, while they sent their kids to one of the most expensive private schools in Washington, D.C. What exactly have the Obamas done for the black community? They created enormous controversy in the community in which they're building their, the Obama Library. Oh, yes. A lot of controversy in that community when it took place. And that wasn't a white community either. I could go on and on about the Obamas and what they didn't do. But this trashing of Donald Trump, this trying to create a caricature of a race, it's an amazing thing. Who picked Bill, excuse me, who picked Joe Biden as his running mate? Obama. Joe Biden. Joe Biden, who opposed integrating blacks and whites in public schools through busing. Joe Biden, who threw in with the worst racists and segregationists in the 1970s, who were from Mississippi and West Virginia and Georgia. He didn't just throw in with them. He helped them write the bill. And for years, he supported it. We have the personal letters. We have his voting record and so forth and so on. And it was in 1994 that they passed a law sponsored by Joe Biden that put extremely harsh penalties on crack cocaine, less so than on actual cocaine, but crack was the problem, especially in minority and poor neighborhoods. And the NAACP and other black organizations denounced him and denounced it. But Barack Obama chose him as his running mate. Barack Obama chose Biden as his running mate. Don't hand me this stuff about Donald Trump. He's no racist. He's never been a racist. He's no anti-Semite. He's never been an anti-Semite. In fact, quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. It's Barack Obama, in my view, and I've said it publicly for years, so nothing new here, who's the anti-Semite. 
He's the one who treated Benjamin Netanyahu like a second-class citizen, and Biden picked up from it. He's the one who initially withheld arms from Israel when it was under attack. He's the one who made demands that Israel cede large swaths of its land to the Palestinians. He's the one who sent John Kerry to the UN to denounce Israel in one of their final acts. I could go on and on and on. For all this and much more, sign up for Levin TV.